What's going on Crunch Nation? It's Crunch here coming at you with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, boys, we're gonna be going over an update to the Ravens all-time best team team out there. If you're new to the channel, what we do here, we do a bunch of coin making methods, gameplays, theme teams, pack openings, pretty much anything you think of for Madden Ultimate Team. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like on it, subscribe, comment, and turn that noti bell. That helps us get the video out there and you're notified every time we make an upload. But as you can see, boys, the theme team is 89 offense, 90 defense, looking very solid this time of the year and an 89 overall. So I'm gonna show you the theme team, um, then I'm going to show you the God Squad right afterward. And yes, on my God Squad, I can still get 50 out of 50 Ravens without really sacrificing anything, because I could actually sacrifice a couple things more if I wanted to and um, still actually fill the team. We're just waiting for a couple players to come out. But we will start here. We got 91 Lamar Jackson very very solid um show you what his stats look like all counted up 92 speed 92 throw power all those stats very very solid not going to spend too much time on some of the cards that you guys saw in the last video as we got here a 90 uh i can't even read it 95 barry sanders I know he's 95 on my normal team, so I figured he would be here too. But the 93 speed, 97 excel, super, super solid. Um, definitely still best running back in the game by far. You got Raheem Mostert and Mark Ingram backing him up. So, wideouts. Number one, we got Andre Johnson, who is a 93 at 90 speed, 93 jump, 94 catch. Really solid card. Everyone's got him. And if you're running a theme team, it makes them even better. Then we got Marquise Brown at four, Willie Sneed coming in the slot, Devin Duvernay at last, and last but not least, second, Steve Smith, the, the boy. And this dude balls out. 93 speed, 94 excel, 95 catching, 92 catching traffic, 92 spec. Everything's in the 90s but the medium route running. And he actually gets 94 speed on main team because we got uh, Sprinter up to uh, the second tier. So he can't, or um, second or third, whichever one gets you the speed. We got him up. So the card balls out. Um, another card that balls out and we added to the team. We got Darren Waller at his 90 speed. Like I said, he's 91 on my normal team. 97 catching. This dude just runs routes like crazy. Gets wide open and he is a baller. Such a good card. Best tight end in the game. We also added Orlando Brown Jr. We'll check him out real quick. He's slow as dirt. Uh, you can't see his speed, but it's like 50. But his strength's pretty good, and all of his um, blocking stats are pretty good. So he actually comes in handy. Uh, the theme team needed some a better line. DJ Fluker's still here. Could use an upgrade there. Jensen. Yonda had to, had to retire, or we would have got him. Uh, we'll go over to defense here. Still got 92 Eric Weddle rocking there. 92 Adelius. We did. We don't have Sam Mills up all the way yet. We still got a few things we got to do. But at even at 93 overall, he's looking solid with the 89 speed. Zone coverage is solid. Hit power pretty good too. I can't wait till I get the last few upgrades. So he is right there. I normally sub in Patrick Queen at middle linebacker number two because CJ Mosley is slow as dirt, but it keeps the overall up there. Um, Elvis Dumerville right here as a 91 overall. Another new addition we added. We got 92 Chuck Clark. Let's check out this boy's stats. 92 speed, 96 excel. He gets there. He's fast. Uh, he hits the zone coverage threshold. Um, I wish I could get his hit power up over 90. But still, it's pretty solid, and the man isn't terrible. Very solid card, very fast, and about all you could ask for out of a strong safety this time of the year. 
Um, he's at least going to be the placeholder until Ed Reed comes out. Um, then we have our D line, Calais Campbell. We switched um, Aeneas Williams to Leroy Glover because I feel like it's hard. All the D tackles suck for the Ravens, so we just went and did that. The 79 speeds nice, 89 excels real nice, and the card just plays really well. Um, one of the best D tackles, if not the best in the game, and you can get him any team can. So you already know Rob Woodson at 93. Let's go check out Dion Sanders. We added him too at 95 speed, 96 excel, 95 agility. Just really solid card. That man zone right there. And uh, last we're going to show you is Marcus Peters. Because everything else, like specialists and everything, they're pretty much the same. But 93 speed, 93 excel, really solid. The 93 man is awesome. 87 zone. Uh, Wish is a little bit higher, but he's fast. And he keeps up and plays really well for me. Um, over here, you're going to see the tools. Uh, we do have Rob Woodson, Elvis Dumerville, Adelius. Um, then I have Dion and Marcus Peters also. You got the 55 out of 50 Ravens. You got the go deep, lockdown, and sprinter there at 14 out of 15. It's just because uh, one player that I keep on my main squad that I don't have on here, or we'd have it maxed out too. But uh, we'll change that and show you the God Squad. The God Squad has a 92, 92 offense, 91 defense, 91 overall. But it allows us to get Walter Jones here, Steve Hutchison, Kevin Maway, Larry Allen, Orlando Brown. And we're still 53 out of 50 Ravens, which is crazy. I mean, the team's solid. Reggie Wayne here at number one. We can get a better wide receiver whenever we want. But the team is super solid, boys. If you're looking for a direction on way to go, this might be the way to do it. Uh, I'm not powering up these two yet because their power-ups are way, way too expensive. I don't plan on keeping Larry Allen very long until another right guard comes out, so I'm not worried about powering him up either. But my way is very good, so I could keep him for a while. Defense over here, uh, it's practically the same thing as you guys saw. Um, but Junior Seau's here, it allows us to do that. And we got Robert Porcher. Might swap him out for uh, Reggie White. And once a better right end comes out, we'll be going there too. And then uh, we can just finagle it around and add a card here and there whenever we want. Because, I mean, I could even just add a better fullback right now. Just because we have, like I said, we have 53 out of 50. So there's three more spots that I could just finagle around to get this team even better. But as you see here, I got the sprinter at 16 out of 25 on the God Squad. So we're working on it. We will get it up to the highest point at some point. But still, training isn't that cheap. If you guys have any questions, anything that you see that I missed on the team, if you like the team, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let us know how you feel. But that's all we got for you boys. Peace.